Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So quite a few of you have requested that I do a what is in my hospital bag. Um, so <laughs> here it is, it's quite a big bag. Um, for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, um, I am currently 38 weeks pregnant. Um, my name is Sarah and I am obviously pregnant with my second little boy. Um, I'm actually going to be having an elective C-section as I ended up having an emergency one with my first son, Oscar. So I've had my date now. Um, I'm going in in two weeks today, which is actually after my due date, but still <laughs> I'm not being fussy. Um, obviously if I do happen to go into labor beforehand, it's not a problem. Um, it just means that I'll end up having an emergency one if I do go into labor beforehand. But I have packed obviously my bag, everything is ready. I've actually had it ready for a little while because I'm <laughs> sad and like to be organized. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would give um, obviously other mummies out there um, an idea. Obviously mine's probably going to be a little bit different because I'm having an elective c-section but you know for anyone that's you know going in it just gives people an idea of what's in my bag so I just thought I'd share with you and I hope you enjoy. As you can see it is a really big bag so one of the first things at the top of my bag is it's nothing terribly exciting but it's little cereal bars um, so I'm going to be going in on the Tuesday and I'll probably be coming out on the Wednesday, maybe even longer depending on how everything goes. But I definitely recommend having something like cereal bars or just something to snack on, even if you're having a natural labour because it just keeps your energy up. So the next thing in my bag is this nappy bag. My cousin actually made this for me, which is amazing. As you can see, it's got little owls on it. Um, she made it for me when I had Oscar um, and it just unravels like that. As you can see, it's got different sections and then I've just put the nappies either side so it just keeps everything nice and neat. So I've got these maternity pads, obviously not the most loveliest thing to subject to talk about but I definitely recommend taking quite a few because nobody really told me how many I needed the first time um, and yeah, you do go through quite a few. So I've got an entire pack which has got about 10 towels in there but I may take another pack to be just to be on the safe side. But yeah, so I would just say make sure that you're well prepared when it comes to things like that. So the next thing I got are these little hats. I don't know how well you can see that because of my light. So that one's got a cute little duck on the front. I just thought they were so cute. So yeah, I packed him a little couple of little hats as well as some little bibs now i doubt he's going to need these um because obviously he's going to be so small um but i just like to pack him just in case um but obviously a harry potter one <laughs> um so yeah i've just packed those just in case because it's always good to have in there i think i'd rather have stuff in there than to not if that makes sense because when I packed um, my hospital bag with my first son, obviously I wasn't aware I was going to be having um, an emergency C-section. So I ended up staying in hospital a lot longer than I thought. So yeah, all of Oscar's outfits, he pretty much went through a lot quicker than I thought. And because I got moved from one hospital to another, the new hospital was actually a good 40, 45 minutes away from our house. So it just yeah and it's the same this time the hospital i'm going to be in is a good yeah about 45 minutes away from my house 40 minutes so i'd rather just be prepared and take too much that i don't need and bring back than having to rush out and get some more stuff if that makes any sense <laughs> the thing i packed is just this cute little toy i don't know why i just think it's really sweet and i just want obviously the baby to have something as like a little comfort but i just thought this was so so adorable some nipple cream because i am going to be breastfeeding well as long as my milk comes in then i'm definitely going to be breastfeeding and a lot of people have recommended this one because unfortunately i couldn't do it very well with oscar and i ended up having to bottle feed him the trauma of my first birth so yeah so the nice thing about this bag is it actually came with a little toiletry bag inside so inside here are all my little toiletries that i need so i have packed a toothbrush um some facial wipes for me 
um, obviously, just for, like my makeup and things like that. Um, a little deodorant, a little shower gel. So it's just like the little holiday central ones that you get. Little head and shoulders conditioner. Um, I've also packed some hand sanitizer just because I like to have it with me. Um, and then obviously a little toothpaste as well. Another little toiletry bag that I've got and this is just basically full of um, nipple pads. So obviously I'll be <laughs> expressing and leaking or whatever. So yeah, I've just got to make sure that I've topped that up with enough pads for you to put it in there instead of a big box full of them. And it doesn't take up too much size and obviously it just kind of can squeeze down into there. This is my 90 that I've packed. Um, this is just a button down um, striped one because it's obviously it's cotton because it could be quite warm in there but it's also got easy access um, for when I am feeding um, so yeah it's just got the buttons at the front but this was only from Primark so it wasn't something terribly expensive um, I thought it was really nice but yeah it's very soft and comfortable I'm sure that I had some new sort of nursing bras um, and these were actually from Boohoo and I've got one in black and also in white um, and that's what it looks like so it's really comfortable it's got an elasticated bottom and I don't think it was terribly expensive I think it was something like £8 each so I think it was something like £16 for two um, which I didn't think was terribly expensive for nursing bras um, yeah and it just unclips at the top for easy access and things like that and they're super super comfortable but they come in small medium and large um, so maybe just obviously be careful what size that you go for um, but yeah it's better to have comfort I think so I went for slightly larger size just so that nothing was digging in really my coming home outfit is nothing spectacular it's just obviously comfort over anything else and it is a striped dress because I like stripes <laughs> um, and a pair of leggings so yeah just a nice loose outfit for me so something comfortable because um, no doubt I'll probably be in quite a bit of pain and I don't want anything too restrictive or tight on me so I've just gone for um, a stripy dress that I got from Primark and then actually my leggings off of Primark as well so pants pants and more pants big pants I'm not going to show you what they look like because they're big knickers you know what big knickers look like so <laughs> but yeah I don't think anyone wants to see those anyway <laughs> they're not the most flattering of things I can assure you so I packed some of these water wipes um, because they're meant to obviously be a lot better than normal wipes to be fair when I had Oscar the midwife actually said to me have you got any wipes um, and I just used normal wipes when he was first born and they weren't um, fragranced or anything like that they were just yeah the sensitive ones but I thought I'd use these I know a lot of people like to use cotton wool and I have got cotton wool as well it just seems like quite a lot of faff to take like a load of cotton wool pads with me when last time the midwife just said to me have you got any wipes anyway um, so yeah so I've got the water wipes um, as they're 99.9 .9 water and they're obviously a lot better on the baby's bottom. may have gone slightly over the top with the amount of outfits that I've packed but again like I said I just want to make sure that I've got all my bases covered. Packed a couple of number little, little baby grows so I've got some really sweet little ones which actually a lot of these were all Oscar's old ones um, but this one here is like a newborn one but obviously I don't know what size he's going to be until he's here so I've just packed for everything um, so yeah so this is newborn and this is also newborn as well I just can't believe I'm going to have something that small well he might not be he might be a really big baby my bump is quite big so you never know and this was also Oscar's I have actually got a picture of when he was first born in this which I will insert here to show you um, but yeah I just wanted to obviously take this with me as well because it's very sentimental to me and I would like that to be one of his first little outfits um, but yeah this isn't up to one month so I just think it's lovely and it's from Next and it's got the little um, mitts built in see so yeah, I've just got a couple more so I think I've got 
about four or five baby grows that I've packed but they've all come in various sizes so I've gone from newborn up to naught to three months just to cover everything but then obviously if I am in for a few more days then I've got enough baby grows um, and it is if he is a big baby I've also covered that as well also packed this one which I think is so adorable which you guys know I love um, Disney so it had to be a Disney one so here are all of the little vests that I've packed for him. I've got again about five or six little vests all in various different sizes as well. And then this is his going home outfit which is so so cute. It is from Zara. Um, I was really worried because we've had this heat wave. I thought oh no I think this is going to be a bit too too warm for him. But actually it's like starting to cloud over now. Um, and this is made out of cotton anyway. Anyway, so it's not going to be obviously as hot and he is going to be a newborn so I need to make sure that he is warm enough anyway but these are the little trousers so they have little feet and then this is the little top which I think is just so adorable so I cannot wait to see him in that and I got that yeah obviously from Zara Mini so hopefully it will fit him if not, I have got a backup and I've got a little pair of Mickey Mouse dungarees just in case that it doesn't fit <laughs> or we have an accident and it needs to change. So like I said, I've covered all of my bases. Got, like I said, I am going to be like obviously trying to breastfeed, but if for some reason something happens and I can't, then I actually bought some of these as well um, because I don't know, obviously it's not like the hospital's responsibility to make sure that I've got formula and things like that. So if for some reason I can't breastfeed, then I've just again covered my bases. And I know I've said that probably about a million times, but um, these are really cool. So they come with little teats um, and then it comes with little bottles of ready-made formula um, I think it was like about eight pounds for the entire box um, and I'm gonna probably just take a couple with me um, I don't know if I'll take the entire box uh, but these are all good because they're all sterilized already so you literally just put the little cap on and feed if you need to but like I said I'm probably not going to be using them if I'm going to be breastfeeding so and the last couple of items in my bag are a hairbrush <laughs> So yeah, to obviously brush my hair after and my makeup bag. So to be honest, I don't know if I'll actually be that bothered about putting makeup on. I probably won't really care about it, but I just thought I'll have it just in case. Um, and all that I've got inside of here is to be fair, I've got my thyroid tablets because I have an underactive thyroid. So I need to make sure that I'll be taking those every day. Um, my glasses because I do wear contact lenses so if I'm not really in the mood to be wearing my contact lenses then I obviously can just change to my glasses um, all I've got in here is just a few little bits concealer um, all in one BB cream because I'm not exactly want to be putting on um, a heavy amount of foundation um, some mascara eyeliner and uh, this little face serum so look this is what my friend makes which is amazing um, it's by Manners Organics um, and she basically made this for me as part of my baby shower gift which is really lovely um, but yeah I've kept that in my bag because it actually makes my skin feel amazing but one thing I haven't got in here which I need to put in here which I cannot recommend enough which is lip lip balm because yeah I found that my lips really really dried out I've got some like you know lipstick or like a matte lipstick but lip balm like yeah is definitely the thing to take with you because I just find that you really really dry your lips out um again depending on what kind of labor you've had um if you're having like gas and air and things like that I find that that obviously really dries your lips out but definitely have a pot of Vaseline so I will be making sure that I add that to my bag so another two items that I'm going to be taking with me is this swaddle blanket which um, is from the Little Blue Nest Company um, it's really soft I just absolutely love the design on it but yeah it's basically just like a big muslin cloth really um, but I just thought it's quite nice and light and I have also got this blanket as well which my lovely friend Gemma brought for me for my baby shower and it has 
Dumbo on it. It's so super cute and it's really, really, again, lovely and soft. Um, but yeah, it's, I just think it's always good to have two little blankets with me um, that he can have in his car seat um, or just to obviously wrap him up so that he's comfortable in hospital as well. That is everything that is in my hospital bag. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything, but if you think I have, obviously comment below and let me know. Um, I've, yeah, obviously be having the baby in about two weeks time, unless I have um, an early labour. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of vlogging, like, everything leading up to it. Um, and I'm also thinking of doing a what's in my changing bag video. So if you would like to see those kind of videos, again, comment below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button because that would be amazing. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.